Hello everyone, my name is Edward and today I'm going to tell you guys about my coming out story. Since I was a kid, I always knew I was different. I honestly didn't know what it was, I just felt different. As I went to school, I started kind of realizing a bit more of why is it that when I'm around all the other guys, I feel as if I don't belong with them. But when I hang out with all the other girls, which explains why most of my friends have always been girls, I always just felt more myself and I never felt different it was like that feeling of feeling like something was wrong would go away so it, I guess it really does make sense there were a few moments obviously that was pretty noticeable that I wasn't like all the other boys and it was having those little moments that kind of explains why I ended up doing or I guess kind of holding back and expressing myself because I was told that what are you doing why are you doing that you shouldn't be doing that you're a boy and all this type of stuff it was at that moment and I'm guessing I was around four or so that I kind of was realizing you know what I have to start shutting myself off or um, filtering myself in a way because it looks like if I do this in public people are going to start hating on me or picking on me and yeah that's pretty much how I went for the most part I mean my childhood was pretty happy I enjoyed it uh, I didn't really think so much about that. It wasn't until middle school and let me tell you guys middle school was very scary for me because the two friends I had in elementary they went to other middle schools so I was kind of left on my own having to go to this other middle school and I was so terrified because being the shy kid that I was I didn't want to put myself out there and meet, meet new friends. I was very it was very terrifying for me but you know how it is in life you have to do things that you don't always want to do and this was just one of those things for me. So I went to middle school and this was when things were starting to kind of make sense and I didn't really question it because I had my first crush and it was in sixth grade. I know I Pretty sure, yeah, the first year I started, it was on this guy in my P class. From what I do remember, I just remember being so like, wow, he's so... Like, I never saw someone like that and I felt something. It, it wasn't just attraction. I knew it was attraction, but it was just something else. And in here, it just felt so great. And it was like, I was just being so drawn to him. And any chance I got, even though this sounds a bit creepy, I would like stare at him. <laughs> I know I'm creepy. I obviously never said anything. Growing up, I was told that being gay was wrong. I honestly was afraid of what my parents would think. I knew my parents would not be accepting of this. And it seemed like nobody was accepting of this. And it wasn't like this was seen as normal on TV or anything like that. So yeah, this was the time of my life where depression and sadness and anger and all that, all those type of emotions just started building up in me because I was holding things back. If it wasn't a crush on this guy, it would be a crush on another guy or a guy on TV or a guy on the computer. Because uh, one of the things that honestly kind of helped me get through this was YouTube. A friend told me about YouTube and YouTube, you guys. Being the kid that was kind of sheltered and told you shouldn't be watching that or hearing that, you guys, YouTube was like my everything. I watched so many videos. I was like so into it. I discovered things that I probably shouldn't have at that age, but... I mean, it's just how it is. Like Yaoi, I didn't even know they made like gay characters into like an animation. So that was a completely different world for me, but I loved it. And since I didn't know about coming out videos or anything like that, for me, that was the thing that kind of helped me see that, oh, it's okay to be gay. One of the things that kind of, besides YouTube, I discovered I liked video editing. So video editing was one of the things that I love to do on the computer. I was able to express myself in ways I couldn't really express myself in real life. At least that's how I felt. What can I say about high school? Well, middle school, I hated it. High school, not too crazy about it either. Did have problems where I would get picked on and I would see others get picked on. And yeah, I would always be, be called gay and all those type of things. And being the wanting to fit in and be with every, like everybody else, I would try to be straight. <laughs> And it was so bad, you guys. Like, I think about, like, what were you thinking? And it was so obvious that I was just trying to fit in so desperately. So my dad actually caught me watching porn around this time. And keep in mind, my parents didn't know what was going on with me. To be completely honest, I felt like my life was completely over because my dad caught me watching porn. And 
he was like, what are you watching this? And you're going to break your mother's heart if she finds out. And she did actually end up walking in. Yeah, I was just like crying, trying to dry my tears. And I tell him, oh no, everything's good. One of my favorite artists, Lady Gaga, I mean, Kesha, Katy Perry, they were all starting around this time. And you guys, especially Gaga, like she was my hero. She was somebody that I obviously lived for her music. I would watch every interview I could on YouTube and that goes for all the pop stars I was obsessed with, but mainly her because she would talk about gay rights and how important it was to be yourself and how she didn't feel like she fit in and just hearing what she would talk about, just it felt like I was finally being understood. So it wasn't long until I graduated. I decided I was gonna tell my mom what was going on with me. I, oh yeah, I remember. Uh, me and my dad went to a concert. We came back home. I started watching Gay Point like 2 in the morning or so again. Yeah. My dad called me again and that's how this happened. So my parents were talking on the phone and I was asleep. But it's weird how I'll automatically wake up for these type of conversations they have. And my mom right away rushed in and she's like, what's this about you watching gay porn? You shouldn't be watching that. To be completely honest, I thought I could tell my mom everything because she watched Ellen. So I thought, okay. My mom should be okay, like she should be cool with everything and I'm really close to my mom but it's just when it comes to me, I guess my real feelings, that's when I felt that I couldn't really be completely authentic. So yeah, she wasn't happy about it. I honestly don't really remember. Um, it was just one of those things I blocked out. I do remember wanting to tell her I'm gay. She was walking out of the room and I couldn't even get the words out. It was like I didn't have a... I was screaming it so loud in my head, but I couldn't get it out of my voice. It was like, what happened? And you know, when they say sometimes you want to say something, but you can't, it's like stuck. And that's basically how it was. So I went to college and things didn't really get any better. I mean, for one, I didn't know what I was doing with my life. I was really lost, struggling with myself and my sexuality didn't make things any better. It was a little better. I will say that, that's completely honest. I wouldn't say I was completely happy. I decided to tell my dad, we were eating ice cream or whatever, and I decided to tell him, because he started talking about like the straight couple, which I'm not sure why he would bring up this conversation. And I told him, what if that's not what I want? And he's like, what do you mean? We went to my car, I literally, couldn't talk anymore. Everything just poured out. All my everything I held on to since I was twelve just bursted out of me, and I could barely speak. But at least he he was listening to me and trying to understand me. We came home and we were still in my car. And overall, um, I was not expecting this from my dad, but he was so awesome about it. He was completely honest with me. He said, "You know, I may not agree with this, but I want you to be happy, and I'm really proud of you, and I'm always going to be here for you, and I want you to go live your life and be the person that you're supposed to be." And he gave me a hug, and like I said, you guys, I was not, I was not expecting my dad to like be so loving to me. To be completely honest, I thought he would be the first person to like yell at me and like kick me out or whatever, because. Uh, I just assumed that because my dad is like totally the opposite when it comes to me and he did tell me you had to tell your mom so I was like oh after what happened I didn't want to tell her but okay during this year I decided to tell my best friend so I told her everything was all cool with her but yeah came the t time to tell my um my mom because <sighs> around this time I was watching a bunch of coming out videos and keep in mind, I didn't know this for the longest time. So like I watched Davey Wavy and Jack and um, a lot of all these, all these YouTubers I discovered and they made me feel very normal. And I felt, you know what, I can do this. But this was just one of those times where it felt like no matter what I would say, it, it would never work. So yeah, I told him, but then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to give it time like they say. So I kind of took that advice. As of now, my life hasn't really changed too much. I will say that I am struggling very much on this still. I mean, I've accepted it. I told more, some more of my friends and they've been very cool about it and patient with me and I love them so much because they've been in my life for a long time and they're awesome. And 
especially in a world where not everyone's your friend it just means the world to me that i have those that are still there for me and still patient with me as for my mom i don't know um i was upset and right now i try to think of it my parents grew up in a different time so they're not going to be really accepting of being gay and all that because it wasn't like that when they were younger. My mom does love me a lot. She's done a lot for me. I think with time she will see that this is just my life and that I am a grown up now and this is just who I am and it's not a phase or anything. It's just a part of me. I decided to do this video because I can't, I can't even function anymore. I, there's times where I, I still go back to being 12 year old me and not even wanting to be alive anymore because I can't I can't stand it and I hate I hate feeling like I can't express myself and be myself and I hate being afraid of people and um it just it's really um like I can't even feel it affecting me it just seems like it's this that's kind of blocking my creativity as well I started, I, I was thinking about this a lot. I'm like, man, when you do this video, you have to really be ready of what's ever gonna happen. And I mean, I in my head, I, I'm thinking that a lot of, I'm gonna go through, maybe I'll be going through a very hard time after this, depending on who finds out. And um, I don't know what, they, what they'll say to me or whatever, but um, I just know that, uh, that it can't be any more worse than what I'm feeling now. And I mean, if I don't say anything now, my life's just gonna keep going away more and more. And I'm just gonna be this complete, bitter, awful person. And I don't wanna be like that. I wanna be able to look back in my life and be like, wow, I, I remember falling in love. And I haven't experienced any of this stuff. So it sucks too that I can't really relate to a lot of people that have been in love or been dating or so. Like, I don't know what that is. And I hate, I just wanna, I just wanna know what it is to be confident. I can't even like sometimes walk out of this door without almost crying or just hating myself. And it's just this constant battle that I'm just ready to end it already. I tell myself, you know what? I think it's this that's gonna get you stronger. This is what's gonna make you a stronger person. This is what's gonna make you be more confident and you're gonna, you're gonna get, you're gonna get through it. I mean, you've been through a lot, especially when you were growing up and going through this. You made it through. Maybe not in the best way, but you did make it through. And now it's just that time where you have to already face your fear. You have to face everything that you're kind of going through. I mean, I may not be where I want to be because, believe me, I wish I can live in L.A. or New York or somewhere where it's so open-minded and I can, like, really be myself. But until I financially I'm okay when it comes to moving out and everything I have to be patient when it comes to that so I guess I'll just face my fear the best way I can and whatever happens uh, we'll see what happens if you're going through a hard time just know that you're not alone um, believe me I felt alone so many times even now but when you go on YouTube or social media there's so many out there that you, we've seen that they've gone through this and they made it through and living their dreams or working hard and they there's such a thing as having a happily ever after i mean it may not be perfect but no relationship is but it's possible to just live and be like anybody else because your sexuality does not you know it's just a little part of who you are that's about it other than that thank you all so much for watching if you watch this far thank you have a great day you guys I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. See you later.